Hi guys. So there it is. This is my ancient Deutsch tractor. This appears to be a German tractor. Pretty ancient. It's still not as ancient as um, some some tractors. This is seventies, but this thing been really used and abused. Surprisingly, the engine is in a really good shape. It's it's got some really kicking power. I didn't expect that. I grew up among tractors overall, so I've seen. What they can do in a tractor about this size what it should be able to do i'm really surprised this engine is in a very good condition this is Deutsch d4506 that's the one it's been sitting for a really long time look at the bucket check this out this thing has really been sitting but you can tell that it's really got some heavy use look the bar is bent somewhat and overall it you, you can tell that this thing has been actually used used and abused take a look at the fenders it tells the tail this stuff really saw some use the transmission mostly suffered it's actually working incredibly good the transmission but there is wear on uh, on the side of the gears which is actually actually fixable but uh, that wear is mostly due to not carefully shifting around the gears otherwise there is still a lot of life in this transmission left just shift carefully and that's it there's still so much gears left to engage and they're not popping up out uh, when you load the tractor they're not popping out at all they're holding very strong the gears so they're a little bit ground but um, there is a there is an opening underneath the transmission underneath there there is an opening I opened it and I was able to access most any gear over there and uh, I used the uh, uh, multi-tool and oscillating tool and I shaped those gears a little bit and they're now uh, in a better condition and it shifts like really nicely it's literally no gr no grinding now so I don't think I even have to deal with the transmission anymore just shift carefully and the way I shaped the gears that's uh, been like you know ground in there I shaped that up so that it's not uh, as coarse it's working very well now surprisingly the engine the engine is surprisingly in good condition I didn't expect that at all I'm pretty surprised I don't have to even undo the transmission really to to get everything out and do its guts uh, it's been possible to remedy it through the underneath like I said and the engine the engine has such a kick I didn't expect that and it's it starts so fast it's it starts like a car goodness it starts really quickly listen that was fast for an old tractor that's been used so much there was no something like zzz 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 to, to try to start it. No. This was fast. Surprising. And everything works. PTO. This thing, it works. The three point, it works. Goodness gracious. The brakes are not great, but they work. The loader, it works. It 
It's idling barely right now. So it's slower, but. The bracket can be fixed. That's the easiest thing to do. The bracket is nothing. This can be replaced easily. Piece of metal. All this can be welded up. Completely replace this one. And this one too. That's not an expensive fix. And welding, man, I love welding. I love welding, I would be really enjoying fixing this thing. This one over here was crashed. I had to literally rebuild this stuff. The other one is not great either. I'm gonna shut down the chapter. So it doesn't do all its noises around. The other, the other one is not too good, but for now it's usable. But I should do exactly the same thing. There is a play in this thing. So I need to get it out and completely rebuild it just like that one. That one right now is tight and nice, like super awesome. This thing is supposed to catch on a thread, this, this one, and then coupled with this. But only this one actually holds on a thread. This one spins freely. If you undo this one, then this thing just spins and it's supposed to be actually catching on a thread and tightening. It's not. And um, the the bed for the key in there, it's, it's obviously that it's not right. So it all needs rebuild. On that one, the other one, the bed for the key was absolutely destroyed. And piece of metal away from the bed, like with the bed and away from the bed, probably about an inch and a half, something was torn away. It's like a lot of flesh of a metal was torn away. Crazy. So I welded it all up, grinded it, and made it all new uh, bed for the key, stuff like that. It worked out awesome. This one needs to be done similar thing, but that's the simple part, doing stuff like this. That's the simple part, or fixing the bucket, that's the simple part. I would say that the transmission was found in surprisingly good condition. In surprisingly good condition. It was uh, possible to remedy it really quick. Otherwise, the washers between the gears, stuff like that, it's in excellent condition. Which is when I loaded the tractor, none of the gears pops out. That what that is what I feared the most. But they're holding like soldiers. That is surprising. Otherwise, everything else is no problem. The engine, goodness, I didn't expect that thing to be that strong. Still, it's just a three-cylinder. I put it to work with this bucket, uh, like, basically like a bulldozer to see what it can do. Whoa, this thing plows. I didn't expect that. I thought it's pretty killed. And I hold this thing in for 400 bucks. That is pretty crazy. 
well I had to spend a bunch of bucks I didn't chip out on a battery I could have go and get a semi truck battery there cheaper but I just couldn't wait and I paid way too much 175 at O'Reilly for a huge battery which I could have get same battery from a semi truck dealership but I just wanted it now instead of 120 I paid 175 that's fine anyway so the oil the filters the towing that I had to bring this in and whatever else expenses I really don't remember every single small thing and it came up to 780 somewhere in that range I believe it's above 800 bucks and for the tractor still working that good with the transmission and the engine that strong I am surprised people pay for a tractor much older uh, models whatever model whatever make much older ones like 50s uh, people pay 2500 average price if it's anyhow in usable shape and I ended up under a thousand bucks. It's pretty crazy. The fixes I have to do on them, they might scare some people, but they're not really a problem for me. The rear tires really good. The, the front tires, tires, they're done. They're done. I'm, I'm gonna have to buy them, but but these are cheap. On eBay, they're, they're really cheap. So overall, overall, this should be cheap compared to what it could cost me this is going to be cheap anyway and the steel is not gonna run me much so surprising of course I took a gamble with this this thing has not been started in a long time the last time the seller said the last time it was attempted to be started about a year ago this is why this belt is basically brand new right here but I don't even know if they started it because that wiring to the to the starter it was completely messed up and it had like um, double this uh, exposed burnt out wire that was definitely touching on a tractor ground and stuff like that I don't even know if they started it and the wire was uh, these wires they were in this house and stuff like this I had to undo and pull and it doesn't look like anybody been doing that so I don't even know if they actually started this tractor because it took me some work to start it anyway but it started it was a gamble I had no clue what the transmission is like surprisingly it's in super usable uh, shape for my needs on this little tiny range you know this fence and there is another half of the land there so if I have some kind of little needs to do it does. I already did some jobs with this. Wow, it's nice to have a muscle around. I'd rather have a old muscle instead of none. But I have an idea about how strong the structure should be. It's surprisingly strong. It's it's very close to its rating. It's very close. I put it basically to plow like a bulldozer goodness it, it just goes it just goes like crazy the engine is surprisingly in good shape the transmission I pulled two gallons of water out of it which was insane and some milky oil probably that's why they had some grind over there likely but the engine the engine had no signs of water whatsoever there was a good oil in this in in it and not like extremely extremely black it was black quite black but bearable 
so the engine the engine ap appeared to be more or less looked after the transmission boy the transmission was oh man i don't know when somebody last was had looked at it no idea and the hydraulics they were empty the hydraulics were empty the 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 bucket all this stuff it didn't work i just put oil in tried it and surprisingly it all works without a hiccup surprisingly it works without a hiccup of course there's a bunch to get done on it if you really 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 want to to get like everywhere no leaks and stuff like that but that's not my priority right now i got it running anyway see the steering right there leaks this stuff right here leaks and this one leaks but this is not a big deal mostly these leaks are easily, easily fixable and they're not expensive at all even the the hose that's not a big deal at all the hose this is just to have time to deal with it overall was it a good gamble i would say goodness gracious this was an awesome gamble I'm normally not a gambler. I, I basically never go to a casino. I just don't like that kind of stuff. That's all. Whoever likes it, that's their business. I'm not judging them, but, but not me. I've also put this for a pre-filter. Because there was a bunch of all kinds of stuff in a, in a, in a tank. I tried to clean this tank as much as possible, but I didn't want to remove it and wash away, wash away, wash away. I was using my hand, well, not really my hand, my, my boy did that, because my hand is too big to get in there. And I had him clean as much as possible, as, as, as much as we could, clean and clean and clean and clean and clean. And just in case I still put that pre-filter to catch if, if there is anything big. That's why I put this thing. And here are the filters. The top one, top one is a fuel filter and down there is the oil filter. I would prefer this one to be not like this upside down, but opposite to hang below the fuel filter. That, that, that is much better design, but anyway, however they did it, as long as it works, that's fine. You cannot complain if you're holding a tractor home that uh, appears to be actually working for 400 bucks even though uh, along the way a bunch of other expenses yes but still people haul it home in, in this old condition for thousands and have a bunch on top of it spent to to get it in running condition so i don't think it's fair for me to complain So that's the thing, that was lucky, anyway, consider it, it a, consider it a gift of God, how else you can say, am I planning to sell it, like to clean it really well, uh, undo where it leaks and, and fix those leaks, uh, make sure nowhere it's leaking, and then um, clean it up really well, blast it, sand it, whatever it takes uh, in a safe manner and, and paint it up, get it looking right and to sell it? No, that's not what I got it for. I got it first of all for fun and it, as it appears uh, in pretty good running shape I'll keep it. I need a muscle around. I'll keep it. Not selling this. This is just not happening to haul a, a working, basically working tractor like this for 400 bucks. That's not happening every day. No, I'm keeping this anyway. I have to haul at least a few more. 
that I could get like a really great deal in order to start letting something go. But that's not my priority. I, I'd rather go uh, deliver loads instead of dealing tractors. If I catch some kind of crazy deal like this, I would go for it. That's fine. But that only if it comes along the way somehow. Otherwise, I would fo um, focus on other stuff. So I'm happy with this stuff. Goodness gracious. I'm happy. It's a running tractor. It run runs around. This thing runs around. I am pretty happy. There you go. Good gimbal. Though I don't advise you to go to gamble. <laughs> anyway. Alright guys. See you.